Good afternoon. Just letting everyone log in. Good afternoon everyone, hope you're feeling well, welcome to the 6 month plus fitness, postnatal fitness, <laughs> just letting everyone log in, so it's just a couple of minutes past, so we'll start about 5 past, just let everyone log in, today we need to make sure you've got two weights, um, you've got your water, you've got some music on in your house, you've got some nice safe space and that you are ready to exercise, okay? So I've got a few more logging in now, which is good. I know a lot more of you are catching up later and are doing it in the evenings when the little ones are asleep. So that's amazing um, that you're managing to catch up on it. So that's really, really good. If you're here live, then give me a shout. Let me know where you're at. Let me know what stage you're at, that type of thing. Um, today's talk afterwards is actually going to be a lot of stretching. So we're going to do um, some really useful stretches for, uh, for mums, for the, those kind of common mum aches and pains, okay? So those common mum aches and pains, um, and they're great to do at the end of the day. So no matter what type of day you've had, these would be great. Some of them are really good for the morning as well, so I'll talk about those. We've got five different ones. I did them on the, um, not, uh, the six weeks to six months class on Monday, but these are exactly the same. You still get the same aches and pains. Um, they can just be from different reasons in the six month plus class, a heavier baby, moving more, that type of thing. So, I'm gonna get going in a second. Um, again, you need those two weights with you today, and that's pretty much it, and some water, so make sure you've got water. That's always the key. And obviously music to keep going. So, it's five past, so we're gonna get going, okay? So I want you to start marching on the spot for me, so do a nice warm up, just nice and steady, so march on the spot to begin with. Nice marching, good. I'll turn my music up a little bit. Keep going. That's it, nice marching. So you can see I haven't got trainers on today, it's no, there's no impact on these, on these sessions. Um, I've had to bring it inside today unfortunately because where I live it is raining, so ugh, I didn't want to get soaked. <laughs> So unfortunately we're inside, but if it's nice and dry by you, then I want you to be outside. Get those endorphins from the outside as well. I think it's clearing, but it wasn't when I was setting up, so. Okay, we're gonna go into those light squats now. So we're going down, back up, down, back up. We're not going very far, but we're just working that whole lower body, including those arms, getting that whole body moving. Exhale as you come up. Nice exhale as you come up. Keep going, okay? Keep going. And four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to step back into those lunges. So step back and down. Stay in there. So we're doing some nice static lunges. Just stay in put, okay? What's really important is you have got that gap between your feet. As well as the length, you want to go the width as well. This front leg knee isn't going over toes, okay? And swap sides, just doing a static ones to warm up. So just check yourself, make sure you've got enough of a gap, and down we go. Just nice and steady, warming everything up, okay? Four, three, two, and one. Stop there, okay? We can do wrist and ankle rotations now. So nice wrist rotations, one way and now the other. 
Okay, and now we're going to do one foot. So if you need to use something to lean on, please do. We're going to go in one direction first. Nice ankle rotation. And now the other way to the other direction. Good. Now the other foot. So you will be more balanced on one side than the other normally. We just want you to really focus on that side that you're not as well balanced on, okay? And the other way. Good. Okay. We'll do some glute activation now, like we always do. So we can do side steps. Really, really good for that good glute activation. So lower yourself down. As you can see, I'm not very low at all. We're not going into a squat. We're just lowering down. And we're going to step together and cross. Okay? We'll just do a couple of these. Together. Lovely. Okay. I want you to go down onto the floor. I'm going to do a couple of donkey kicks. Not going to do very many. We're just activating, okay? So when you're on your toes, I want you to flex that foot so it's nice and flat as you kick back. We're going to do five on each leg. So, one, two. Make sure you're not walking over. Three, four, and five. Okay, other leg, same thing again, tuck those toes, flex that foot, up we go. You don't want that lower back to be dropping down. Four and five, well done. Okay, we'll just do a couple of fire hydrants, just to wake up those glutes. So the fire hydrants are the ones that go out to the side. So again, nice gap between your knees, nice and equal hands underneath your shoulders and we lift up to the side. One, two. Three, make sure you're not walking over. Four, and five. Well done, okay, other side. Just waking everything up. Three, four, and five. Okay, we'll do a couple of toe taps over here. Again, we're only gonna do five, so toe taps are leg nice and straight onto your toes, and you're just gonna lift up high and back down. So, one, two, three, Four, five. You see the rest of my body's not going anywhere. Other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Lovely. Okay, come up standing. Just going to stretch those calves out and those lower legs. So step back as if you're going to step into a split squat and just push that leg, that rear leg back. Using this front leg for balance and just stretching out that calf. Keep that chin up for me, looking forwards. Brilliant. And swap sides. That's it. Keep going. Don't do many stretches at the beginning. We do more at the end, and then we're obviously doing quite a lot with our talk at the end. Some nice stretches for mums at the end of the day. Okay, we'll quickly do a hamstring. So, heel down, toes up, push that bum back. Make sure that back is nice and flat. And you're stretching, you'll feel that. I can feel that straight away today. <laughs> Hold it there. Breathe through it. Some nice deep breaths. Lovely. Swap legs. Again, you may find one side is tighter than the other. Just work on that side that little bit more. Okay. Quick arms, so we're going to interlock those fingers, push forwards, we need to really stretch out those shoulder blades, really pushing those shoulders forwards, but make sure you're not rolling as you do it. You want nice neutral hips, neutral shoulders, soft knees, pushing forwards. Okay, release, we'll go backwards, but we're going to go from the bum, so you just go from the bum, lifting up. Okay, holding it there, <laughs> holding it there, lift that chest, lift that chin. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together, okay? You'll be squeezing them together, pushing that chest out, and release. Okay, roll the shoulders a little bit, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go over to the side, just slightly, we're not gonna go very far at all with this one. We'll do a lot more afterwards. Back to centre, and the other side. Okay, we're gonna get going. So, today, we have got, you can see me, can you? Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're doing squats, tiptoes, arms up, okay? We're doing a flat back row, but we're staying down. We're doing lunges with a knee lift, weights by the side make it harder. Sorry, you can't see me. Weights by the side make it harder, so you can choose which option you have with that. 
doing both sides. Then we're doing a squat into a shoulder press. So really exhaling, engaging that pelvic floor. Then we're doing shoulder taps into a press up. And we're gonna be working on connecting our core and connecting our pelvic floor together, okay? Because there's no way doing a, uh, a press up without doing that. It's beneficial for you at all at the moment. So we need to make sure that everything is connecting. Uh, and then we are going to do a side plank again, contracting that core and that pelvic floor together, but making sure that everything is working together, even with a slight bend in us, we don't want to be putting too much pressure on that core. So we're going to be doing that three times, okay? So do that, those exercises, five exercises, three times. But we're going to up a bit, okay? So we're on week eight now. So we are upping a bit. We're doing 45 seconds on. 15 seconds off, one minute rest in between the sets. Okay, so get yourself a drink. Make sure you've got two weights ready. And at all times, if the weights are too much, you can just put them down. There's no reason why you can't do that. You've got to listen to your body in this situation. I'm not there in the room with you or outside with you, so I can't be telling you exactly what you need to do. So you need to make sure that you have either got, you've got both weights, you can increase it or decrease it at any point you need to, okay? So grab a quick drink. And then we're going to go into it, okay? We're going to start with those squats onto a toes. So, let me just demo what I'm talking about. You're going to go down into a squat, onto your tiptoes and raise those arms. So we're going to start with those arms. Uh, there you go. Squat down, toes, back up. Okay? So the whole point of this, make sure you're not rocking over too far and you lift up on the toes and back down. It's just that short burst of lifting up on the toes. We're not doing the whole thing. We're introducing the arms to make it a little bit more unsteady. So, if you find that too much of the arms up, drop the arms. Just go down into the squat, toes, back up, okay? So there's all the different options depending on where you are postnatally with this one. Right, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Off we go. So, arms up, squat down, toes, back up. Exhale as you come back up. Down we go. Exhale, draw that core in, lift that pelvic floor as you go. Keep going, everyone. Okay. Really important that we're drawing that pelvic floor, we're bracing that core. Okay, all together, linking that breath, linking that core, linking the pelvic floor. I would rather you just do five reps correctly than 20 reps wrong, okay? So slow it down, get the form right, make sure that back isn't curving. Last one. Okay, we're going into a row now. So pick up your two weights. My little hidden note to the side today for some reason. Now what's really important with this one is that we hinge over, okay? All the rest are short today. So I want you, soft knees, hinging over. I don't want curved back like this, okay? That's not going to be good for anybody at all. So get the weights that are right for you, doesn't matter if they're really light. We're going flat back. Off we go. Row. Exhale. Exhale. Draw that core in. It's that automatic. As you breathe out, that core comes in, okay? Feel yourself creeping up. Just lower down. That's it. Keep going. Feeling knees today. And five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Slowly come back up. Make sure you go going vertebrae by vertebrae. Right, next one is a lunge with the knee lift. To make it harder, you hold on to weights. To make it easier, if you're a bit unbalanced, then you go with no weights, okay? And again, I'll restart time, don't worry. Again, if you are finding it too much stepping back into that lunge, go into a split squat, which I'll show you now. So instead of going all the way back into a lunge like that, so we're doing reverse lunges, you can go into a split squat, which is to here, and you squat down. Again, making sure this front knee does not go over that toe, torso is nice and upright, back up. Okay, so it's the same as a squat, but with that split stance. Right, so are you ready? I'm going to lunge back, let me show you I'm going to lunge back, lift forwards. Okay, stay on the one side, and then swap. In three, two, one, off we go, 22 seconds. Back into the lunge, lift. Same as if you're in the split squat. It's fine, get those arms involved. 
making it harder, weights by your side. Only if you can master this without being unbalanced. Exhale as you come up. Two, one, swap legs for me. Down, we go back, we go up. Exhale as you come up. Watch that front leg. Keep going, keep going. That's it, keep going with this one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, we're doing a squat into a shoulder press. Both weights. I want them on your shoulders like this. Okay, we know this one, we do this one quite often. We're going to go toes out. Exhale, lifting pelvic floor. Okay, off we go. Squat down. Exhale up. Squat down, lift pelvic floor, engage core, <sighs> exhale. Okay, so it's a full body help when we are doing this. <sighs> it's not just your upper legs and your shoulders. <sighs> We're using the whole body for this movement. <sighs> if two weights are too much, put one down, one under your chin, down. <sighs> okay, just keep it at your level. That's it. That exhale is so important. And stop there. Okay. Down onto the mat. Hopefully you can still see me okay. Yeah. Okay, we're down on the mats. Now, we're doing shoulder taps into a press up. So you can either, you can either do this in a box formation. So, we're in an all fours box position. Or, you can go into a half plank position. Engaging that core, making sure that that, core, that bum isn't dropping down, you're nice and straight. And we're going to do it, make sure there's a gap between your knees, so we're nice and stable. Inhale, exhale, tap, tap, press, back up, okay? Now with this one today, what's really important is you are exhaling as you press. I don't know the light's going off any today for some reason. You exhale as you press, okay? I can't emphasise enough how important that is. I'll just move it slightly to see if the light changes. It may help. Okay, so I can't emphasize enough how important it is when you are pressing a box, a half, a full, whichever one it is, that you are exhaling, engaging that core and lifting that pelvic floor. So your whole abdominal area is working together as well as exhaling so your diaphragm is coming in as well. So we're gonna start again. Because I have talked through that bit of workout. <laughs> We're going to go shoulder taps, press. Three, two, one. Off we go. So exhale, tap, tap. Inhale, exhale up. Tap, tap. Keeping steady. Down we go. Really ensuring that that core is working at all times, okay? You don't want to be letting that core drop. Look down, check your tummy. Make sure it is working. 18 seconds, add those shoulder taps. Inhale down, exhale up, drawing that core, that pelvic floor. Tap those shoulders, keeping steady, okay? I don't want any bones wiggling with this one. Three, two, one, well done, okay. We're going on to a side plank now. Now with this, again, it's really important that you ensure that your whole core is engaging properly. So we're going to go into a half, we're going to go onto our elbow, which is directly under our shoulder. Now, if you are struggling at all with these, I want you to really listen to that body and I want you to follow what's happening here with your core. So we're going to go up and then we're going to come down, but we're going to take it really steady today. So what I want you to do, you can be go as straight as you can, so think ear, shoulder, hip, knee, as straight line as you can, legs at a right angle. You're going to exhale and lift up, so we exhale. And as you exhale, you draw in that pelvic floor, you draw in that core, okay? You can feel it. Get your hand onto your core, see what it's doing. And then we're going to go inhale down. Exhale up. <sighs> Holding it there. Listening to your core, listening to what's happening. Inhale down. Exhale up. Long exhales. <sighs> Engaging that pelvic floor. 
that feeling of stopping yourself from jumping and holding on to that core. Inhale down, okay, adjust yourself if you need to. Back up again. 10 seconds. Make sure you're knowing exactly what's happening here. And stop there. Okay, so we're on to that one minute rest. If anyone has any questions about any of those exercises, give me a shout. If not, get a drink. <laughs> Make sure you're nice and hydrated throughout this one. I am boiling. Why have I got my hair down? <laughs> Who knows? So, we're going to do that round one, we're going to do it two more times, okay? So this time, we've gone through, I've talked a heck of a lot through that first round. You need to now start remembering about that core and that pelvic floor, and lifting and engaging, exhaling when you need to, exhale on the effort, okay? It's an active breath. Make sure you're doing that. You can do the squat with the tiptoes with our arms up, okay? So we're going to go in 10 seconds, get yourself ready. Whatever you need to do with babies, make sure you've got that space still. And we're going to go in three, two, one, off we go. So it's arms up, squat down, toes, exhale back up. Down we go. Brilliant. Keep going. Okay, those arms are a really good guideline to that breath. Lift the pelvic floor, engage that core. I can't say it enough today. You guys are probably thinking, yes, you can. <laughs> okay, it's only a slight lift onto our toes. We're just working those muscles that tiny bit more by adding that st um, instability into the move. That's why bracing that core is so key. If you don't brace the core, this is what happens. You got this. And you'll be all over the place, okay? You need to make sure you're not doing that. We're going into flat back rows, two weights. If two weights are too much or you've only got the one, do half the session with one side, half the other. Okay, so you have 20 seconds on each side. Off we go. Make sure nice flat back and row. <sighs> Exhaling on that effort. Soft knees, remember. Don't let your back take the pressure. It's your shoulders that are working. Engage that core every time you do that movement. Core comes in. 15 seconds to go. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, they are tough. They're not easy staying down, so in earlier classes we do it where we do one and come back up, but we're past that. So lunge with that lift now. Now if you want to make it harder, if you feel nice and stable, then go for it with holding those weights down. Off we go, 20 seconds on each side. So back into the lunge, lift. Back into the lunge, lift. Okay, moving that leg. I'm trying to make sure I've got enough space to lift. The joy of having long legs. <laughs> That's it. See if I look over. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can't hide on lives. Right, 20 seconds. Other leg. Let's go into it straight away. Come on, down. That's it. Making sure that knee is driving right up. Okay. You put a lot of pressure on that leg that is stable. That is your working leg. Nice, stable leg. Okay. Stop there, we're going into a squat with the shoulder press. Get those weights. And again, if two are too much, just put one down, go with one under your chin. So nice, wide stance. Two, one, off we go. Down, exhale, press. Those lunge with a lift, definitely get that heart rate up. Okay, keep going, come on. Make sure with these squats that your form is there, okay? We want those knees not going over toes. Bum back. Doesn't matter how far you go down, as long as it's clean, okay? 15 seconds, keep going. We've got this round to do once more. We've got those two core exercises to do next. And it's one more round. Three, two, one. Lovely. Okay. Down on the mat. It's got sunny outside now. Of course it has. <laughs> okay. We're doing those shoulder taps 
with the press. And as always, make sure you are inhale, you are exhaling on the effort, drawing that core in. Off we go. Exhale. Inhale down. Exhale up. Nice steady stance, okay? No matter how far you go, as long as that core is engaged. You see I'm not going very far today. I'm getting a proper sweat on that. <laughs> I hope you guys are. Okay, stop there. We're doing side plank. Hurt the side for me. Now, remember this one. It is your level. I've lost count how many times I've said that in this class today. So, we're going to do a nice half. Just making sure we're straight as feel comfortable. And off we go. So up into the hold, exhale as you go up. Holding it there, drawing that core in. Drawing that pelvic floor. And down we go, inhale. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, drawing in. Again, use that hand, check what's going on. Back down, inhale. And again, let's go. Exhale up. Inhale down, one more. Exhale up. Inhale down. Whew. One minute's rest. <laughs> so, get water and then we're going to go that round once more. So you're doing really, really well. Not an easy one today. You know, make sure that your work make it count, okay? You always try and make these sessions count. Limited time as mums, make it count. So we're going to go once more. Got about 20 seconds and we're going to go again. Just again, make sure we want that core and that pelvic floor really reacting to these exercises. We're not just any old exercise. We're making sure that you are rightly informed and getting the right information for you in your postnatal period to then move on to whatever you need to move on to afterwards. It's all about getting stronger now so you can jump onto everything else when you're ready. Okay, we're gonna go in three, so squats with arms up, tiptoes. If it's too much, drop those arms, okay? And even if the tiptoes are too much, just go into squats, just make sure you're moving. Let's go, so nice and wide, arms up, down, toes, back up, good. Down, toes, back up. So you can see it's not much of a movement. You'll feel it tomorrow though. <laughs> exhale. Okay, you're exhaling as you go into that toe lift. Heel lift, sorry. Onto your toes. Down go. Heel lift those heels. Exhaling. Remember that line. Exhale on the effort. 10 more seconds. Good work, everyone. Three, two, last one. Brilliant. Pick up those weights. We're on to that bent over row, okay? So nice flat back. So hinge. I always put my weights here. Just recommend putting your weights here to hinge over them. So if you're going over a bar, soft knees, you hinge over, and then off we go. Exhale, pull up. Nice and sharp, bringing it to your armpits, keeping that back nice and flat. You can see mine is nice and flat. Looking forwards, that will, that will help you with that curving over, minimising that curve. That's it, 20 seconds. I don't want your elbows coming out, nice and tucked, you're alongside your body. 12 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, slowly back up. I'm gonna go into lunge with the lift. Again, if you find it easy, easy, nice and steady, get those weights by your side, okay? See the difference. See what happens. Ready? <laughs> back we go. Back into lunge and lift. Okay, making sure that you're going back. Exhale. That 
knee doesn't have to go all the way down. Okay, you're just stepping it. And even if you're doing those split squats, you're back. Down and lift. Down and lift. Swap sides for me. Watch that front leg. With a nice right angle. Make sure there is a gap. So when I'm talking about the gap, I'm not just talking about going backwards, I'm talking about sideways as well. Well done, good effort. Okay, squats into shoulder press. Let's do it. Get those weights. Okay, exhaling. <laughs> you know I'm going to say it. Toes out, slightly to point those toes out, stopping those knees bending in. And off we go. Inhale down. Exhale up. But inhaling down. Nice and neutral pelvis. I don't want to see you going forwards like this, okay? But nice neutral pelvis. Core engage. It will really help with that press. Really help with the control. 15 seconds. Come on, girls. 10 seconds to go. Ay, yeah, yeah. Well done. Four, three, two, one. Okay, weights down. Whatever you're using for those weights. <laughs> okay, we're going to go down onto the floor. Shoulder taps, press. Get yourself comfy in a half plank. Now, if that is too much, go into that box. Make sure the gap between your knees, nice and stable. We're not talking about doing them knees together, feet up at this point. Off we go. Exhale. And then inhale. Exhale back up. Drawing that core in, okay? Good. Let's keep going with these. They're not easy. 20 seconds to go. They're too much. If the press is too much, just stick with those shoulder taps for me. Okay, just stick with the taps. Really emphasise that out breath. One more. Well done. Okay, we're staying here. We're going into side plank. We're going to have to switch really quick. Okay, so we're doing 20 seconds each side. Get yourself ready. I'll see you guys can just turn over, <laughs> which makes it a lot quicker. I've got to flip to the other end. Off we go. Under our shoulder. Exhale up, exhale up, holding there, nice and controlled, control core, pelvic floor, in, and inhale back down, okay, exhale up, control here, okay, this is the bit we're working, inhale back down, at any point please stop if you find any of these too much, okay, and we're going to swap, last one on this side, Inhale back down and swap sides. Off we go, okay? So exhale up. Control, core in, feel what's happening with that core. Lifting that pelvic floor. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Drawing on that core, really feeling what's happening with your tummy. Inhale down. One more. Exhale up. And inhale down. Well done, everyone. Okay, let's get on with our stretching. So we're going to go child's pose. Just going to stretch it out. We are doing some of these in a little while as well, but we're just going to do our normal stretching now. So walk it forwards. Bring yourself down, knees open, feet together, and stretch it out. Lower yourself down. Some nice deep breaths. Okay, lovely. Bring yourself back up. Okay, let me know how you find the workout. Let me know if you've got any questions about it at all. We're just on our hips really quick. So we're going to go. Stepping forwards, making sure this back leg is nice and controlled. Don't let that knee go over the front, and we're just dropping into it slightly, okay? 
Strengthen on your flexibility, but remember you've got that relaxing in your system. So don't be pushing it too much. Holding it there. And that's it. So you shouldn't be feeling it in your back. You should be feeling it all here. Okay? I'm going to swap over. Holding the stretch. Nice deep breaths when you're doing stretches. When you breathe through them. Lovely. Okay, come to seated. We're going to do one leg forwards. Holding that stretch. And as always, if you're finding as you're going forwards that your back is curving, then I want you to get a tea towel or a resistant band or a card or whatever you've got close to hand. And just loop it over your foot, just keeping that back nice and flat for me, okay? Just gonna put some more chilled out music on. Hold that there, okay? Swap legs for me. Get a proper stretch when I'm distracted. <laughs> Both legs together and forwards. So just hold that stretch there for me for a moment. Just want to move a couple of things around. Excellent. Okay. Holding that stretch again, using those bands if you need to. Lovely. Okay, we've got some glute stretches coming up, so we'll do those in a second. We do some upper body, so cross those legs, we'll go forwards, Lovely. really pushing those shoulder blades out for me, and then behind, so hands at your lower, at your lower spine, at your bottom, lifting those arms up, lifting the chest, pushing the chest forward. on the neck, but we do need that little stretch here and there, don't we? Okay. That feels better. Lovely. So we're going to now go on to a few common um, mum aches and pains. So a lot of the time you're in that six month, per, six month plus period and your baby's getting heavier. Your bag's getting heavier <laughs> because they've got more stuff, although we're not going out very much at the minute. Um, you are lugging the buggies around, you're lugging things around, shopping, all those different things. And everything has to be quick, doesn't it? Everything needs to be quick when it comes to having, uh, having children around because they need you all the time. So we're not necessarily doing the things the right way. We're not necessarily, I'm just going to move the camera so it's a bit lower. We're not necessarily uh, thinking about our posture, thinking about what our bodies are doing, anything like that. So it's really important to stretch it out. That will be nice and stable. No, not at all. I don't know why I mess with this thing. That's fine. Okay, so these stretch, we've got five of them, and we're going to do them on both sides. And you need to just make sure that you do each side equal. So I will try and help you with that today, making sure you're doing both sides equally and giving your body that time. Okay, really important to give your body some time. And I know with a baby, it's near on impossible, but sometimes they sleep. And sometimes 
they will play and you can be put next to them when they're on the play mat or they're, they're doing something, you can be with them and do these stretches, okay? They're really good to do um, at the end of the day and a couple of them are really nice in the morning as well. So the first one we're gonna do is a child's pose that we always do anyway, you guys know that one. Um, so we're gonna go, but we're gonna include pelvic floor with this one. So we didn't do pelvic floor at the end of the session, so we're gonna include it with this exercise. But today, normally I talk about a lot about um, engaging your pelvic floor, lifting and squeezing your pelvic floor, and making sure that you're doing that um, correctly. But we don't talk about letting go of the pelvic floor that often. So what we're gonna do with this one is gonna combine the two. So want your feet together, so your knees open. And I want you to just walk yourself forwards, nice and steady, bringing yourself down, okay? And in here, I want you to just think about it. Breathing into your rib cage, okay, so bring it into your rib cage, softening your tummy and just letting go of your pelvic floor. So we're not pushing, we're just letting it go. Because we hold our pelvic floor tight when we're stressed all the time. And it's really easy to hold on to that pelvic floor. And we don't want to be doing that, we want to be letting it go. So just do some more nice breaths, breathing in. Letting that pelvic floor go. Lovely. Then I want you to walk yourself up nice and slowly. Just one vertebrae at a time, okay? Just nice and gently. One by one. Nice and steady. Lovely. Well done. Okay, we're going to stay in that position. We're going into all fours now, okay? So, nice all fours. We're doing a cat cow. So, if you do yoga, you'll know this one quite well. I want you to tuck your tailbone all the way in and lengthen. Okay, so we're really lengthening that tummy, lifting that chin. Then we're going to exhale and we're going to tuck all the way. Tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, all the way in. Inhale, back out. Exhale, back down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, back up. Lovely. Okay, leave that one there. We're now going to go on to a glute stretch. Now, you can do this on a chair. Um, I would recommend doing it on a chair, to be honest. Sorry, I've got itchy nose and hay fever. So I'd recommend doing it on a chair. And you just sit down nice and straight. So I'll go at an angle so you can see a bit better. Sit down nice and straight so you've got a nice, you have a cushion behind you if you need to. And then you lift one leg up and put it across your thigh, okay? Put it across your thigh and you will feel the stretch down here. Now, what you want to do with this one is as you exhale, I want you to lean forwards, but again, we want that nice flat back. It's really key to have that flat back. So nice inhale, and then exhale, bringing yourself forwards. Stretching out, I'm really tight there today. Really tight, so I'm not going very far. Otherwise, all that would happen is I would just curve like this, and that's no good for my back. So exhale, just make sure you're holding it there. If you need to come out of it, it's quite a deep stretch, come out of it. Inhale, exhale down. Keep that back flat. <laughs> Holding it there for me, okay? Again, never overstretch. Yes, stretching as you can feel, but you don't want to be having that overstretch. Just holding it there. Nice and gentle. Always good if you've got relaxing knees to come. Hold it there for a little bit longer, mainly because I'm quite tight, but you guys will benefit from it. So now you don't stretch that much. Okay, we're gonna swap over. So nice swap over. And again, you can repeat these as many times as you want. Just because I'm doing them once or twice doesn't mean that you can't do them more than that. If you've got the time, do them, okay? Try and block off a certain amount of time per day. 
How many of us sit there and scroll on our phones for 10, 15 minutes when baby's napping or doing something like that when actually we could do a nice stretch? Check this on. <laughs> Holding it there. Nice flat back, remember? 10 more seconds, just a really, really long stretch. sat on the screen but it's really important to have those nice long stretches so we're going to do two more one is seated on the floor cross-legged so we'll go back down to the floor so I want you to sit cross-legged and then we're going to walk ourselves forward the same as you do with the um, child's pose one we're going to walk ourselves forward so just make sure that you're nice and comfy Okay, both glutes, so your whole bottom is on the floor, your sit bones are on the floor. Okay, you want to keep them there, you don't want to be rocking them up. This is the same for both of this, this and the next exercise, really, really important. Stay on your sit bone and walk yourself forwards. Keeping that back flat so we're not curving, but keeping those glutes right on the floor, keep those sit bones down. Exhale as you're coming forwards. And again, this is a really nice deep stretch, so just make sure that you're feeling it but you're not overstretching. Keep that back nice and flat. You may be able to get lower than me. I'm not that flexible today. Our flexibility can change. Then I want you to inhale, come back up. Okay, and then we're gonna go again. Exhale back down, just walking those hands down. Holding it there. Inhale back up, we're going to do one more of those, exhale, down we go. Just hold a little bit longer this time, keeping those sit bones down, it's really easy when you're going through it to lift up, you want to keep them down. Okay, and walk yourself back. I feel better already with those. Now the next one, the next one is quite a deep stretch and we're going to go over to the side. So again, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, then please just listen to your body. So it's called a mermaid stretch if you do um, any Pilates or yoga. I haven't done it before, before I found out about this one, um, when I did a course on some nice stretching, but it's a lovely one to do. So you link, I'm going to go with my left leg. So my left leg, you can see my foot is there. So I've tucked my foot under, it's by my bum, but I'm keeping both of my sit bones on the floor. So just readjust yourself if you need to. If you've got any strain in the knee, just open the knee up a little bit more. Just open the legs up a little bit more if you need to, okay? This foot is against the other leg. And what we're gonna do is with the bent leg, I know they're both bent, but this one at the right hand, we're going to put our hand down and we're going to lean over to that side. So exhale up. Keeping those bend that bum down, inhale down. Just keep it on going. We're gonna do five and then we're gonna hold. So that's three, four, five. And the sixth one, we're gonna hold. So you don't need to go too far over, that's why this hand's here to stop me going over too far. And hold it there. Exhale back to centre. Lovely. Okay, we're going to go on to the other side now. So swapping those legs over, whichever way is easiest for you. Tucking the other one in. And you can see straight away, I'm up like this. So I need to move around, I need to reset up. This being my tighter side as well, it's quite easy to happen. There we go, so moving this foot out slightly and moving this leg out a little bit more. So I'm a little bit different to the last side. We'll just make sure both my sit bones are on the floor. We don't want that, that hip lifting. So I having this hand here as well will really help with that hip not lifting up. So I want you to exhale up. 
Inhale down. Two more. Okay, next one we're going to hold. So you can see I'm not going very far at all. And I'm just lifting up. So I'm just going to really just slightly because I'm not sitting that equal. There we go, that's better. Okay, so make sure that foot's tucked. Off we go, we're going to hold again. Holding it there. Make sure both sit bones are on the floor, otherwise you're defeating the stretch. Keeping the object of the stretch, sorry. Just come back to seated, whichever way is comfortable for you. So I hope those stretches were useful. If you have any questions about them, as always, just let me know. Um, I can feel I need to just have a little bit more room. <laughs> uh, the joy of teaching lots of sessions each week. Um, so let me just turn the music down. Hopefully you're feeling a bit of progression from the sessions. You're feeling that you're working a little bit more each week, um, whether you're catching it later or doing them live. Um, and then the little bite-sized chunks at the end of the sessions are helping you quite a lot. Um, I concentrate quite a lot on, on your stretching and mobility because we don't get much chance doing that. In the earlier sessions, there's a lot of um, chat about different things of mum life and um, your pelvic floor and different things like that. So have a look back if there's anything that you want to um, have a look at. I think you need to edit some of them to say what the, the talks are. Um, but yeah, have a lovely day. It looks like it has dried up here. I don't know about you guys. I'm up in, up in Colman Heights, so uh, hopefully it has dried up where you are. Um, get out for a walk. Get outside as much as you can. I know the weather's a bit up and down the next few days, so we don't want to be just stuck in. Get outside, get on those walks, um, or just even just in your garden if you have a garden. Um, and just, yeah, keep moving, really. I want you to keep moving, keep active. Things are starting to change with the lockdown, so that's really good. Um, and hopefully we will be back outside pretty soon. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, have a lovely week. I can't believe it's Wednesday already. Um, I am back on on Monday with the 0 to 6. And, sorry, 6 weeks to 6 months. Um, and then I am back here on Wednesday with 6 months plus class. So yeah, I will be back on, I will bring together this nice workout so it is ready, so it's a step up from this week, every week is a little step up um, to get you hot and sweaty but doing the exercises that are there to help you in motherhood and to get you stronger because we're always doing things on one side, um, getting you stronger and getting back to where you want to be in your life. Okay, so have a lovely rest of the day. Sunshine's coming out. <laughs> Enjoy it if you can, and I will speak to you very soon. Any questions, as always, just drop them in here and I will get the notifications and can give you a shout. All right, so anything at all, just let me know. Take care, everyone. Bye.